Hi, besties. It's Bella. You haven't seen me for a while. I've been very busy. I have so many other engagements. Anyway, Mommy went to Dollar Tree, and she's going to show you some really cool things today. I just wanted to say hi. So, hi. Hey, besties. I'm so glad that you're here. If you are new, I'm Lisa Marie. Thanks for stopping by. If you are one of my subscribers or besties, I love you and appreciate you so much. Today I have five Dollar Tree Wood Oval DIY hacks for you. I can't wait to show you, so let's get started now. For this Dollar Tree Wood Oval hack, I'm gonna take one of those ovals and a little home sign cut out of wood. And then I picked up this little doggy tail at Ikea. I've done a previous craft with them. I'll link it in my description box. And then the Burnt Umber Paint by Apple Barrel and the Linen White Rust-Oleum chalk paint. I'm going to sand my wood round down and then I'm going to remove the tag and then I'm going to paint the entire front and sides with the linen white paint. I didn't do the back right away and I really don't know why because I did that on all the other ones but I do go back and do it later so anyway using my heat tool to dry it. My Amazon store is linked in the description box if you're interested in any of the things from Amazon. Then I'm going to take that burnt ember paint I'm going to squeeze a little bit out and I'm going to take a little piece of a drop cloth that I had cut up and I'm going to wrap it around my finger and I'm going to use it to rub on the burnt umber paint as though it were a stain. And once I get it on and it's fully covered, I will take the side of that piece and I will rub off any excess and it will create a stain-like, you know, finish for this and that's exactly what I wanted. It also doesn't smell and it's so much less expensive than buying stain, so I love this color for that. Now I'm gonna take the little plaque, I'm gonna kind of position the homeward where I want it and the little doggy butt. And then I'm gonna measure, cause I wanna put a nail in that's deep enough that it won't keep the little doggy butt off the surface of it, but it also holds it in place while the glue is drying. Just an extra security. So I'm just gonna hammer that in once I figure out where. And I know exactly how deep I need it to be cause I'm testing it right now. And you can see right there, I made it so it goes all the way to the surface of the plaque. Then I looked at the back, I put my sawtooth hanger on and I realized I need to paint this. <laughs> so I do, I paint it and then I quickly dry it with my heat tool. Now I'm gonna take the Beacon Fabric Tac glue and I'm gonna put it all across the back of the letters and then I'll take a little brush and spread it out and make sure I don't have any you know, pieces that are kind of like hanging between the letters. And then I will attach that to the front of the little plaque. These little plaques are so versatile. You can do so many different things with them and I'm gonna put that down, give it a little pressure, and it will dry very quickly. Next, I'm gonna take some E6000, and I'm gonna put that on the back of my little doggy butt hook, and I'm gonna leave gaps between each little dot that I put on, because that's where the hot glue is gonna go just to help it dry faster so that I can keep working. So this was a triple whammy, a nail, E6000, and hot glue. It's not going anywhere. Now I'm making this for my mom because when I made my other one with the three little doggy butts, she wanted one so bad. By the way, she doesn't have any animals, she just wants it. And then I noticed I forgot to do that little back part that's hanging over, so I went with burn umber and I got that taken care of. And that's it. How cute is this? I absolutely love it. I'm sure my mom's gonna love it. And you have to let me know what you think. For this Dollar Tree wood oval hack, um, I'm gonna, well first of all, this piece has some weird dents in it. They're never the same, I don't know. Anyway, I'm gonna use one of those oval thicker pieces and this little succulent uh, planter that had a magnet on the back and then a succulent, it's not the one that came with it. And then my moss and celery chalk paint by Waverly. Around the outside edge, not the very top, I'm gonna use the moss colored. I'm gonna dry it with my heat tool so I can move on. Then I'm gonna take the celery color and I'm gonna do the whole front. And then on the back, I'm gonna do the moss again. I just thought that would look really nice. And of course, I like to finish my backs. And then I'm gonna take some polyurethane finish and I'm gonna put it all over the entire piece. 
Then I'm gonna take a little sawtooth hanger that I got from Amazon, just gonna put it on there before I go any further. Now I'm gonna take some of the rope that I got from Walmart, and I'm just gonna hot glue it around that edge. That way I didn't have to be so perfect about my painting on the edge. So just one strand all the way around. I'm gonna use hot glue to attach that. Then I'm gonna take that little container and I'm gonna use the hot glue and I'm just gonna put the rope or twine all the way around it and I'm just gonna keep going around and around. Um, actually, I'm gonna go around the first time and then I'm gonna go just like a U-shaped over and over until it gets to the very middle and that finishes it off, which I'll skip ahead here so you don't have to watch me gluing everything. But I did want a piece along the back there so you wouldn't see the plastic. So then I'm gonna cut that piece off and see how I went around and around, but the edges at the top are rough. So I'm gonna put some more pieces just around the top to kind of finish that off. It'll take about three pieces around to make it look done. And it's so cute. So I'm gonna hot glue that right there onto the little oval. And that little copper looking flower, I didn't end up using that. And then I'm gonna play around and see which is the best way to put my succulent in. And then I'm gonna take a combination of reindeer moss and a little bit of the green moss. I'm just gonna put it inside the little container or vase. And then I'm gonna put the succulent right in there. Now, after this was done, I felt like it needed to be a little different. So I then took another one of those little containers and I painted it with the moss color and then I dry brushed with the white over the top and around the other on the outside. And I'm gonna use that other one. I'm gonna make a little beehive out of it. Can you see it? Anyway, this was easy. Let me know what you think or which one is your favorite. If you are enjoying this video, I ask you to hit that like button. It helps me by telling YouTube to show my video to more people, so thank you. For this Dollar Tree wood oval hack, I'm gonna take this wood oval, and then I've got these gorgeous rub-on transfers by Redesign by Prima. I got them from Chalk It Up Fancy. They have a YouTube channel and a website, which I will link below because they're awesome. And then I'm gonna use my Rust-Oleum Chalk Linen White Paint. I'm gonna paint the entire front and back of this piece and dry it with my heat tool. You know I do that just so I can keep moving. <laughs> but you guys know I'm impatient. And now moving on to the back. And then I'm gonna take some Waverly ink paint, which is black, and I'm just gonna paint around the edges, everything but the very flat top. And then I'm gonna take some Mod Podge and cover flat front surface. I'm gonna add a sawtooth hanger on the back. Got that at Amazon. And then there's the, the transfer that I decided to use. It's the cow that shows you all the parts of it that are, you know, what we eat that's meat. Well, it's all meat, but you know what I mean. <laughs> anyway, I thought it was super cute for my little farmhouse kitchen. And I'm just trying to find the exact positioning for it. Because once you set it down, you, there's no turning back. So you have to have it in the right spot. I'm gonna use a little scraper tool. And of course, I'm not gonna show you how long I really did, but I really went over this thing. And then I very slowly pulled it off to make sure everything was adhering, and it did, so I was able to keep going. Otherwise, I would have laid it down and scraped a little more. Now I'm gonna use my hand and burnish. You can also use a very soft cloth for that as well, but you definitely wanna do that step whenever you do any kind of transfers. And then I'm gonna use my Minwax One Coat Polyurethane Top Coat, and I'm just gonna put that all over the entire piece, front and back. And you guys, it's so cute, I love it. For this wood oval round hack, I'm gonna take one of the oval rounds, of course. <laughs> and then I found these lemons at Ikea and they were on sale from $4.99 to $3.59. And there's quite a few in there and I thought that was a pretty good deal. And then I've got some, you know, little leaves that left over from some picks and some other ones. And then my burnt umber 
paint by Apple Barrel. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my mister that I got on Amazon. I'm gonna get a little bit of the burnt umber paint. I'm gonna mist all over my little wood oval and then I'm just gonna start putting the burnt umber on there. And what it does is it just glides over the top and it waters it down and then you can move it around very easily and get the desired look that you want. So then I turned it around, got the other side with some of the mist and just continued on. And you just keep adding more and more of the burnt umber paint until you get the look you want. If it's too light, add more of the paint. If it's too dark, add more of the water. And this is such a nice way of doing this to give it that really nice stained look, but without the wood absorbing it too quickly. I'm gonna take my heat tool and dry it. And then I'm gonna do the same thing to the back, but I don't need to be quite as careful about it because the back, you know, you won't see it very much. And then I'm gonna put the um, polyurethane one coat all over the front and back. Once that dries, I'm gonna take these larger wood beads that I got on Amazon, and I'm going to put them, there's no corners, but if there were, you know, put four of them on the bottom. And I'm gonna use a combination of E-Success and hot glue so that it will dry right away with the hot glue and then stay very well with the E6000. And here we go. I'm just gonna do that with all four of what becomes my little legs, but they're the little wooden beads. And I'm gonna keep them natural. I think it's a nice contrast. Now I'm gonna put the hole against the wood so that when it's sitting down, you don't see the bottom hole because it's laying on top of it. It's the best way I think to put them. Plus it gives it a little bit of more of a flat surface to lay on and I can squeeze that hot glue right into that hole so it oozes out when I turn it over and that'll help with the hold. There we go, so now I have a little riser. Now I could have made it taller, but I like those beads a lot. So I'm gonna take three of these lemons. Now I thought they were gonna be styrofoam and I was gonna cut them, now listen to this. Oh my gosh, had no idea, they were like golf balls. Seriously, they, had, they felt like golf balls. So now I'm gonna hot glue this greenery right on into the middle and then I'm gonna tack down each of the four leaves because I want them to lay a little more flat. The lemons are gonna be sitting up high enough. And then I'm gonna do again E6000 and hot glue combination with the three lemons and place them where I want. And then those last two little greenery picks, I'm just gonna kind of hot glue them in between some of the lemons. This is so cute. You can set this on a shelf, on a tear tray. It's just adorable, honestly. It could be on another riser, you know. It's just, it's so cute and festive and bright. I love it for my kitchen. And I cannot wait to style it with all of the rest of my spring things. And if I want, this could stay up through the summer as well because it's just so bright and cheery. I don't know what it is about lemons. They're just, it's like lemons and oranges. They're just so fresh. Anyway, I really love that look. And I don't know, just makes you kind of happy. Makes me think of lemonade. Tell me what you think. How would you have done this? Would you do the same thing I did? Or would you have made it taller? It's also something that you could make two levels if you wanted by adding something taller between. For this Dollar Tree hack, I'm gonna use this flat oval wood piece. It's not as thick as the other one. And I'm going to show you the difference right here between the two, but they're both still oval and they're still wood. You can find these at Family Dollar also. And then I ordered these half beads on Amazon. They're in my Amazon store. And then these are stickers I got at Walmart. And then I have some rub-on transfer letters from the Dollar Tree. And what I'm gonna do is create a sign to put outside of our bathroom, and it's gonna say the loo, which I think is super cute. It's what they say in England, and I just love that. I'm gonna use my heat tool from Amazon to take off the tags. And then I'm going to use my sanding sponge from the Dollar Tree to sand down the wood. And now I'm just gonna take my half beads and place them all around. I'm gonna kind of start with the four edges, if you will, and then work my way in and try to make it so that they'll be evenly spaced. And then I'm gonna use some wood glue and I'm just gonna place them one at a time. I'm gonna use a little brush to put it on there so I don't get a lot of excess. I'm just gonna go ahead and place them all the way around until I get them all. And then the last one I had to sand around the edges a little bit to make it fit because it was super tight, but it worked. And there it is, all done. Now I'm gonna take my Rust-Oleum chalked linen white paint. I'm gonna do two coats on the front and back, and I'm gonna work my way through all those beads, you know, all around the edges and in the little nooks and crannies. 
And then once it all dries, I'm gonna use my polyurethane uh, clear coat to go ahead and put that on the top. But first, I'm gonna take my letters. I wanna use my Waverly ink chalk paint, which is black. I'm gonna do two coats on the letters, get all the way around the edges. And I use tape to attach them to that paper so they don't move around, especially when I dry them. And then I'll do that second coat. And there is that polyurethane. I'm gonna put that on there as well. And here we go with that for the, uh, the oval piece. I just wanna make sure that there's a nice smooth surface for my rub-on transfers to stick to. And I'm gonna use a little ruler and just try to find my center. And with these, I'm just using my fingernail because they're so small. And then I use my little Cricut weeding tool to pull off the plastic. And then always remember to rub down on top and burnish them so that there's no edges that are still sticking up. Because believe it or not, if there are, it can become a problem later. Now I'm gonna position my word Lou and just try to figure out how I'm gonna put that on there. And I'm gonna use my Beacon Fabric Tac Glue to attach those right there. That way I control how much goes on and there won't be anything like really oozing out of the sides. I didn't wanna do hot glue for this. I really wanna make sure it's stuck on there long-term. This is so cute. I've got this um, piece that can go on the wall and then you can attach the sign so it's sticking out, not flat on the wall or on the door, but sticking out. I don't know if the piece I have is gonna work. If not, I'll try to rig something. So for this video, I won't be able to show you that hanging up on the wall, but in the meantime, at least you'll get to see it. This was super easy. It's so cute and I absolutely love it. I've seen people do powder room signs or bathroom, but I thought the loo was a little different and I absolutely love it. I hope you guys like it too. That's the piece I was talking about. It's a very heavy metal, so I'm not sure if it's gonna work. I may have to pick something a little bit lighter, but that's how it would look sideways. And now for one last look at all five of these oval wood Dollar Tree DIY hacks. They were so easy and fun to make. I hope you'll try it. Hey, let me know at the comments what other items you'd love for me to do hacks on. I've got more in mind, but I'd love to hear what you'd like to see. Thanks so much. You are such a blessing to me. If you like this video, I've got a couple other videos up here that I think you'll really like. Click on one of those next and I'll see you there.